What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 7 of the FIFA 22 Create Club Career Mode. We're using Zilla FC, our team, and we are currently top position, 80 points. We are 17 points clear of Sheffield United, that's in second position. And if you haven't watched the previous videos, you should definitely go back and watch them. Trust me, you will love it. So for this episode, we are going to be playing three matches. The match against Bournemouth. Then this really tough match here against Chelsea and then we're playing um, Sheffield United. The rest of the matches that are in the calendar, we're going to be semi past them. Mostly with our first team and then some of them with our second team. Like this match right here is going to be with our second team. So I'm just going to switch it up and quick sim. Are we going to be able to win the match? Yes, we do. Our house scores. That's his third goal and then Strandberg scores as well so i'm going to sim past that coventry match with my first team and we get the win one nil so we're going to be playing this this sorry this match against bournemouth now it says here that calvin phillips is 32 million i might be able to get him okay no i wouldn't be able to get him <laughs> unless i give out one of my players which i really did not want to do but then i could also go for graven but she also plays cdm or CM, he could play in Strandberg's position, but I don't know if I should sell Strandberg now. Strandberg is 77 rated and he's around the same age as, as what's his face, as um, Calvin Phillips. So I think it's actually just better to get Graven Birch and put Strandberg up for like a swap deal or something like that. So with about 23, 24 million in the accounts, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to be trying to get Graven Birch from Ajax. Uh, so, what am I going to do here? Um, midfielders. Then, Strandberg is 32. Wow. He's actually... Okay, so, I guess I should just offer, like, 8. And then, just to be sure, I should just give a sell-on clause of around 8%. So, let's see. Wow. See, when they agree straight away, it makes me rethink what I did that maybe I should have given less money. Because I actually feel... <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't have been able to get him with all the money I got. Sorry, with all the money I have at the moment. So it would actually have been better to um, swap him with Strandberg. Because, I mean, he plays in the CDM position as well. So it should be... It shouldn't be a big problem. The folding is still on my radar. And this guy just keeps increasing in price. Like... <laughs> I actually really want to buy him, but I, 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 I have no idea how I'm going to do it. I might probably swap again, but that's a really, really high price. If we win the Premier League next season, which is highly unlikely, highly, highly unlikely, then that's when I think I'm, I might be able to get the cash to buy him. Because, I mean, Foden is like my favorite player outside of Neymar. Like, after Neymar, then you see Foden there. So, uh... I really want to buy him, but mm, money is an issue. If only I were in Newcastle right now. Okay, so we gave him an important squad role with a length of five years, no release clause, and for his wages. Now, I think I'm just going to give him... What? What happened to my transfer budget, though? Because I could have sworn that I had 28 million... Or rather 22 or something. So where did all that money go? Anyways, I'm more about to give the guy 20 million as a wage budget. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with 20... 20... Uh, thousand. So let's see what he's going to say. Yep, they agreed. So Gravin Birch is officially in the team. We're just going to wait for the transfer window to open. And then it should be done. On to the match against AFC Bournemouth. We're going to be using our main team here. Zaid is now on a, on 83. And Bakari is almost close to 80. So very soon we will have an all 80 rated defense. Devo is actually on bad form because he's just... I think this is the first match I'm playing him in. After bringing him, after bringing him on from the injury. So let's hope that he can get back in form because he used to be like... A guy I score with in almost every match. And after I got injured, everything just changed. 
Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. Welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the championship. It's the Blades, and they face Bournemouth. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And the game begins. Can he finish? And he read it really well. Fine save. Now what can they do from here? Threading it forward, and a goal to open the scoring, a very bright start to this one. Well here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end, it's a really good goal. Applying vigorous pressure. It's a good looking ball. Well, no mistake from the keeper. Well, they might be onto something. And now waiting to pounce. Oh, magnificent reaction. Had it covered. Well, not giving him any breathing room pressing high and they have the ball again he takes aim and searching for his seconds but the keeper equal to the top very creative from the blades Strandberg will it happen for them they really look after the ball when they have it he must finish it's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power. Getting through fantastic work here just to keep possession. Now with Rivera, happy to take on the shot, and just over the bar, excellent effort it was, Stanislas. Now can they counter clinically? Must be, there it is, the goals keep coming, no stopping them today. Again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and the timing of the run is just as. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Excellent ball over the top. Top notch defending, but the chance still there. And behind it goes. They can. 
And now the delivery. And a corner there that really lacked guile. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And he's in. Oh, just narrowly off target. Well, they broke... Now the championship is such a competitive division and this is a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Bournemouth facing Nottingham Forest. I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, the chance is on, Stuart. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here it is again. And it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Contest. Grunefeld. Soranke. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And he makes the finish. Faulkner. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans that, are going to that last goal, that last goal that they scored, I really didn't want that to happen. I actually really wanted the clean sheet, but all my players were dead. Like their stamina were all drained, and there really, there really was there really wasn't anything I could have done. So, I mean, I'm still happy that I got the win. We're still scoring lots of goals, and that is that in itself is really amazing too. Okay, so we have a week to go to the Cardiff City game, so I think the player should be rested up. If not, I'm going to use the second team. And, and yeah, they have actually rested up, so I'm just going to send this match and we should be able to win it. Yeah, we do. Um, Suho, Zaid and... Okay, Zaid scored a brace. That's the first time he's doing that in this Sims. And Suho scored again. Suho is really beginning to pick up late in the season, which is pretty good. That's a solid front three I have right there. So we're just going to sim past the QPR game and we'll be using our second team to play against Reading. We beat QPR 3-0 in their own home. So this should be a walk in the park. Wait, are we home? Yeah, we are. So we're, we're going to be using our second team for this match. And like I said, it should be a walk in the park. I'm, I'm really not expecting them to do any less. And... Yeah, Gasama got a red card, but Shagari scored a brace in this match. That just takes us further away from Sheffield United. What I'm seeing there is about 22 whole points ahead of Sheffield United. And we're going to be cracking the 100-point season. I mean, that is pretty... Well, I'm not sure if that's common in the in the championship because they, they have more games. So, I mean, it should be more common than in the Premier League. But we're we're definitely going to be cracking the hundred point mark. Next up is the match against Chelsea. We are going to Stamford Bridge. Shit! <laughs> Look at that lineup: the Pulisic, Lukaku, Ziyech, Kovacic, Kante, Chilwell, Riga, Christensen, James, Aserbi, and Mendy. Wow. Okay. Uh, Torvalson is up to eighty two. I guess that's good. I mean, he should he should really help us out in this match. I I hope. And another big news is that Bakari is Bakari is an 80 now, so we have an all 80 back line plus the keeper. That is good. Remaining the midfielders, I'm I'm just waiting for them. We should get Graven Birch by next season. So that should be an easy like an easy task because I'm expecting Devo and Kamavinga to get up to 80 before the end of this season. So our side in the Premier League is going to be an all 80 rated side and that is a really good thing. Now, I'd, I'm just going to play ultimate with this match because I don't want to like drop it down to legendary because I just feel like I might win if I do that. I, I mean, I want to win the match because I really want to get as much money as I can from the FA Cup, even though it's not really that much. But, I mean, we can only know by playing, so I'll talk to you guys after this match. If you do like this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next after this match. Sorry. And book a place in the quarterfinals. We're 90 minutes from finding out. It should be a great game.
Romelu Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have simply got to keep tabs on. Stuart, you would expect he'll have something to say for himself here. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And they kick off here. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Chilwell. He has time to play it over. And threading it forward. There it is. The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, here's the goal again. And what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Attacking possibilities for the Blades. Well, credit to him for trying it. Didn't miss by much. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Can he finish? And he's gone and scored to level it again. Well, as you can see, he gets a touch on this, but it's not quite enough to stop the goal. It was a good effort, though. Ziyech. It's with Hakim Ziyech. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Conte. And he might be through here. Can they slot it home? And there it is. A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, here it is again. And I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Kovacic! And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. And a strong tackle. And that was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. Just possessed there. Tremendous piece of tackling. Opportunity it is. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Lukaku! And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Chilwell. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best. Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. And it's gone in here. Just what Chelsea fans wanted to see. The lead extended to two goals. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. There in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. In behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And that's it. Okay, so I did try my best in this match, but it just wasn't going to happen. It was Chelsea. And although that we were actually unlucky in some cases, I still feel like we did really well. And I'm just going to tell Chelsea that we, we will be back next season. We will be back. All right, so I'm just going to sim with my first team all the way to the Sheffield United match. And... We win against Stoke City and Swansea. So we're just going to be going to this match straight up. We're not going to be attending the press conference. Nope. And Kamavinga has reached 80. That is that is good. So what's left is Devo and Gravenberch. I don't count as Strandberg because he's basically not in the team anymore. I have swapped two of my original players, Strandberg and Harrison for what's his face Kamavinga and Gravenberch so let's see how we're going to do this match I mean we should be able to come back strong from the previous match against Chelsea I hope I hope we do because in the reverse fixture of this match we beat them 5-0 I think I think it was 5-0 or 4-0 one of those 
On what is a perfect night for football, the floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And today's the day they could be crowned champions. It's the Blades and they take on Sheffield United. Well, Derek, speaking to the fans outside the ground, they're in buoyant mood, so expect a brilliant atmosphere as they look to push their team over the line. What scenes we'll have at the end should they clinch the title today? Can't wait for this one. And the contest begins. Now with Rivera. Oh, he's really up on the map here. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Might be able to set up the chance. This is looking threatening. Must be. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was... gathered by the keeper well that's a really good recovery he had to be smart there and in with a real chance oh a goal on this massively important day and any thoughts of a title cruise have hit the rocks well who would have thought this i just can't see any way back for them now well here it is again and the pace in which they break forward is devastating it's so hard to defend against and then the shot is emphatic he strikes it with such power the keeper has no time to react what a good finish a fine block Freeman Bergen well just over the crossbar excellent effort Oliver McBurney and giving the ball away Well, that's a well-timed pass. He's in behind the defence here. And a goal! Bingo! It could happen for them today. And what a crucial goal that could be in the title race. They need to keep pushing, though. They do need another. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely imperfect. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and at the feeling. They need to make the most of one of these chances. Well read to win possession back. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. This is a good looking ball in behind. Oh, he's done it! And we might just have witnessed the goal that secures the title. Well, what a moment that could turn out to be. They've just got to defend well now. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. On attacking possibilities. Has eyes for goal! And nearly extending their lead. Well, it wasn't quite the finish he was looking for. He just couldn't quite keep it on target. Here it is now, a substitution. It's with John Fleck. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. He's driven in the corner. Really wanted to get it past the first defender then. And a threatening looking ball. And a goal! And it could be the one that puts a seal on the title. Well, that should be it, Derek. Surely they can't let it slip from here.
well. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. And the referee has blown for full time. It's official now. The champions have been crowned. Well, if you win the league, Derek, you've been the best team. And they certainly have been. And what great scenes we're seeing. Just look at the joy down there. They fully deserve this. I didn't even know that this was the match that we were going to win it. And what's funny is that it's against Sheffield United. What are the odds that it's against Sheffield United? The people that are actually chasing me. Although that... Although they, there's no way they're getting close. It just means so much that it's against Chelsea United, just so I can prove to them that we are the champions, not you. So who is the person that lit in the trophy? Okay, Alderweire. That is actually cool. It's supposed to be George Faulkner, but he didn't play from the start in this match, so he's not the, he's not the captain in this match. And Zaid. Zaiz scored a hat trick. Finally, scored a hat trick in the match that really, really mattered. We came, he came from behind. He helped the team to win this, and we have won the EFL Championship. That's the first trophy in the cabinet of Zilla FC. It is going to be the greatest team in the world. Who knows? There's always the element of chance in a cup competition, but my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth, and now they savor the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. And really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Alright, so this is the end of the episode. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.